Hi everyone, it's Deb, Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope that you are doing well and I hope that this reading finds you safe. Welcome to Mantra Monday. So we're going to start off with a mantra. So the mantra for today is, my positive thoughts guide me to new heights. Okay, so you can repeat it as many times as you need to just to get the feel of what it is saying and take it in. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the moon cycle cards and see what the moon cycle is for. This is an all sign reading. So regardless of what your sign is, this might resonate. So take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, let's see, what is the moon cycle for this Monday? Whining Crest release number 27. So we're going through the cycle of releasing things, letting yourself surrender, letting yourself evolve. Because if you look in this card, she does have like butterflies right there. And then had patience right underneath it. So your patience is also something that is going to be highlighted during this cycle. All right. Let's see what the comedic cards have to say. Hopefully, you enjoy this new little setup. <laughs> now we got the Ten of Scarabs. So the Ten of Scarabs can be considered family. It can be considered working together, building something that is going to stand the test of time so let's see get the seven cards out so we're starting off with the four of scarabs and i believe we have the four of scarabs here because there's someone in a family dynamic that is very greedy someone that wants to keep things to themselves they don't want to share they don't want to allow others to part participate in something that's possibly got something to do with some f type of family inheritance someone is holding a lot of secrets with uh, the kind of suit card someone is not letting things be seen they're trying to keep something hidden and then with the scribe of unks I feel like there is some things that should have been handled in a different way that someone refused to handle in the right way and now this person is trying to backtrack this person wants to about apologize or they want to give some type of sentimental acknowledgement about something that was done because judgment is here so someone feels bad possibly or they are feeling the judge they might not even feel bad this person might actually not even be regretful they might just feel like they got caught and now they're going through some type of judgment and it's causing them to feel like they need to backtrack this is right in the middle of the reading this person is a manipulator because we do have the magician card right here this person likes to make things look a different way than what it is they would possibly like to do a lot of word magic is what i'm feeling um but with the king of swords right here there is someone that's defending this particular family or someone that is defending the other party from the person that is the magician that's trying to manipulate. And they're defending them because they know that this person is a very hardworking individual. They've put in a lot of time and effort to build themselves up and they're protecting this individual. So I feel like it's a family dynamic so there's like a split between families because the ten of scarabs is right here what's the four of scarabs five of scarabs yeah see the thing is somebody feels like they're going to lose out on something so they feel like they got to do some sneaky stuff to avoid losing out on maybe some finances that the family is coming into the seven of unks came out someone is they're in this illusion this person is in some type of 
Dreamland, La La Land, whoever this is, is in the Four of Scarabs energy. They're delusional is what I just heard because they don't know what to do. They're just doing a whole bunch of stuff to try to get somewhere, but it's not doing nothing but allowing everyone to see their true intentions because they've been trying to hide something for this whole time that they should have released. That's why the release card came out. And now they're going to be put into this energy of the five of scarabs. So they might just lose out regardless. What's the uh, kind of suit? The warrior of scarabs. Yeah, this definitely is relating to some type of um, inheritance, money, finances. The finks came out in reverse. The hangman in reverse. The king of scepters and then Ma'at. So it could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or it could be um, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone is coming into the enlightenment of what's going on and why things are being held up by this person that's very greedy, selfish, and in la la land. Someone is getting the strength and the courage to move forward and balance things out and use a lot of self-control also so someone is taking control of this situation they're not allowing this off balance person to continue to get away with whatever it is so that's why the secret is being discovered and also i feel like somebody is going to be willing to put forth the the finances or the money to get something resolved because i think someone messed up something that they shouldn't have messed up in the family dynamic and now the family is having to suffer for it what's the scribe of onks it was in the hands of the wrong person that's what i just heard yes to hootie so now this is going to court now this is going to a higher level of having to deal with other people outside of the family okay someone thinks that they can just measly apologize but it's not going to work now somebody is having to go to some type of legal order legal balance because we got to hootie and we got the ju judgment card right here so now they're going to have to go to court what is judgment mm. nine of scarabs so someone in the family is doing quite well financially and this must be the person yeah this is a person that is taking their family member to court the ten of scarabs is right here that came out and then the six of unks and the poots is in reverse so this pat this family i'm feeling like they were past life so that means that whoever was in the family dynamic they were in their family in a past life also and this person probably did the same thing. They refused to go through um, transformation and a death and a rebirth. They want to continue to be this manip manipulative person towards this nine of scarabs energy. They're very jealous and envious of this nine of scarabs energy because they're able to finance themselves without needing any resources or any help. And this other family member needs the family's finances to function and they're greedy at the same time they don't want to do any work or any put any hard labor in what's i set they need to release something yeah ten of swords right here this person is going to end up coming to a disaster ending newt in reverse so now nothing can be healed from this situation nothing can this is not the purpose the purpose the destiny that was supposed to happen this person is not in their purpose they're not in the right position that they're supposed to be in and because they refuse to release they're going to end up going through the ten of swords energy what's the king excuse me what is the king of swords seven of swords yeah, this person's been trying to sneak around and try to get other people to work with them with the three of scarabs against this person that's standing in defense for the queen of scarabs. But it's not going to work because it can be seen. Basically, this person's getting sloppy with whatever they're doing. What's the queen of scarabs? 
so it's like if you do go through court and you get the paperwork and stuff done then they're going to be able to see yeah the warrior of scepters this this queen of scarabs is being protected there's a warrior of scepters right here so there's someone that is willing to stand firm and defend this person at all costs they have finances to back them as well so i feel like whoever the other family members are maybe it's a multiple because the 10 of scarabs can be multiple people they are going to end up having to go through like the suffering because of what they have done i don't know exactly what they did but it's going to be discovered let's get you a gym black tourmaline number 30 Everyone makes the same errors over and over again, as if experience doesn't count, and subsequently we follow a script already written. The time has come to shed light on these inner blocks and determine the situation and to get to the root of the discord. Originated in infancy and adolescence, we need to give space to introspect with trust and courage. Black tourmaline favors the recovery and the vital, of vital energy and is excellent as a painkiller. It protects from negative thoughts and is optimal shield against negativity from the environment. Okay, so that's what I got for Mantra Monday. I hope this helps someone. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell, and I will talk to you later.